versus Bross, case number 2021-5781-DM. Call parties and attorneys to please state their name and appearance for the record, starting with the plaintiff, Nick Frost. Uh, yes, I'm Nick Frost. I'm Katie Frost. Good morning, everyone. Today's date and time set for a hearing and a motion for temporary custody. This matter is being done by remote technology. Due to pandemic decisions of the Supreme Court and Chief Judge, the contents of this video may be the official record of a proceeding of the State of Michigan's Ninth Judicial Circuit. Unauthorized duplication, distribution, alteration of said content is strictly prohibited. Um, I said today's dating time set for a temporary custody issue. Uh, before I start with that, Mr. Frost, the child was born before the marriage. Did you sign the affidavit of parentage or on the birth certificate? I believe I did, Your Honor, yes. Ma'am, would you agree that he's signed either the birth certificate or an affidavit of parentage? Yes. Okay, at some point we're going to need that, but I just wanted to make sure. So today's date and time is set for a motion for temporary custody or this does seem unusual because you both are residing in the same house still, is that correct? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Is there, are there plans soon to change that? Yes, I would like to move out as soon as possible. Um, okay. Financial arrangements. What are you are asking made for? What are you asking for with regards to custody and parenting time? I would like 50-50 custody, Your Honor. Maybe a 5-2-2-5 or 3-4-4-3 schedule. Um, I can live with a friend or I, I don't want to financially devoid the defendant um, because we're relying entirely on my income for the household and for the, the benefit of the children. So I, I just, I don't know what to do um, as far as like what is legally right or what is what is what is morally right. So I'm, I've been staying um, to uh, the detriment of my own mental health um, in my opinion and my therapist's opinion. Okay. Ms. Frost, what do you want with regards to legal custody and parenting time? Uh, I want 50-50 also, but I want full custody of my daughter. Uh, would, um, my daughter My daughter was just born on May 26. Okay, so now we got two children involved. Is this, uh, okay. So we have a newborn daughter. Yes. yes. And is this is this uh, biologically Mr. Frost's child? Yes. Okay. So we now have two children. Sir, do you want 50-50 with regards to two children? Yes. Yes, Your Honor, I would. Okay. Ma'am, why isn't 50-50 okay with the, the daughter? Uh, I'm just planning on breastfeeding her and that would, doing 50-50 would make that difficult. Okay. Are you able to pump? Uh, yes, I'm trying to build up enough supply. Okay. Well, look, you, with the five-year-old, it's a little easier schedule. Uh, are, are you okay, ma'am? Are you two living together? Uh, he, yes, but he's been making financial threats and being emotionally abusive and manipulative. This entire time, when I was pregnant, I had complications. I had high blood pressure. I had to get my gallbladder removed when I was six months pregnant. And he was leaving the house whenever he, he wanted to leave, even if I told him I wasn't feeling good. I also had hyperemesis gravidum, and I was getting two infusions a week. And he he would just decide he would leave to go to his girlfriend's house and then bring the car back with no gas and it it got to a point where on two different occasions he made it so i was late to medical appointments that i needed for quality of life and he actually he did he told he would tell my son that mommy is being crazy and tell me in front of him that I'm being fucking ridiculous. That's quoting, sorry, for language. I was told that a five-year-old allegedly? Yes. Okay. Mr. Frost, what do you want with regards to custody with regards to your daughter? Um, I would like 50-50 custody, Your Honor. 
Okay. How is that going to work with a newborn and you don't have a place to stay? Do you have a crib where you would move into and, and a bassinet and everything? Um, I can go out and purchase those today if you needed to, or I, I definitely would. Um, I have a few different friends that I can live with at the moment. Okay, that's not really stable right now. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, anything else from either side? Anything else, Mr. Frost? Um, I just find the the claims that she is making in her answer to this this uh, this temporary custody arrangement to be false, and I I feel like I need to get an attorney. Um, Absolutely. I mean, I think it's, it's, I always, you know, I think it's best for both sides to get attorneys, but sometimes it's not okay. that easy. We'll set it, we'll set it for a hearing. Okay. Because obviously there's two sides to this story. Yeah. And the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. In the meantime, um, I'm not going to do a custody order. If you're not, li if you're living together, you're living together. Once you move out, refile because it's, it's, it's not stable to just say I can go live with a friend. We need stability. Okay. I need either a lease or some sort of written agreement, not couch surfing, especially with a newborn. A five-year-old, we can make some arrangements for, but at this point, it'll be joint legal. Parenting time, as the parties agree, if they both live together, I expect them both to do their jobs as parents. I'm not taking sides, but I will rain hellfire on anybody that badmouths the other parent in front of a five-year-old. Am I clear? Yes, you are. Yeah, I, I, I'm not taking sides. I, Ms. Frost could be making this up, but she also could be telling me the absolute truth. Get over yourselves. I'm sorry the relationship didn't work out, but a five-year-old and a newborn should not go through this. We do not need any threats. The child is not allowed to leave the state of Michigan without um, court approval. Either child, um, we'll set this for a hearing. We'll get it on as soon as we can. But for the next few months, if you get an apartment with a lease, file a motion, we'll be able to work something out. Uh, I want it clear, breastfeeding is important, but I've also, you know, so we'd have to work something out with a feeding schedule and pumping and work schedules. But I've also had moms come in here and say, well, I'm going to breastfeed for the first year so they can't see dad. I, I don't think Ms. Frost is asking you that. We just need everyone to calm down. I'm sorry the relationship didn't work out, but we have two lovely children that need to be kids. So I can't say 50-50. Chances are I'd go that way if Mr. Frost presents a plan with a stable place to live and bedding and, and, and he can care for the child. And same thing with mom. If dad moves out, can mom afford where you're living right now? So you both need to work on plans. Okay, you're shaking your head. No, sir, but I need for her to determine that. So at this point, I'll say joint legal. That means all legal decisions are made by the parents. Parenting time to be decided by the parties. The children are not allowed to leave the state of Michigan without uh, court approval. And We'll get this matter set for a hearing as a half day hearing as soon as we can. That's a chance for both of you to present evidence as to what you think should happen with the, the, the children. Uh, both of you are able to represent yourselves. Both of you are able to hire attorneys. I just don't want someone hiring an attorney the day before the hearing and then the attorney needs there to be an adjournment. So uh, you're both living together as of now. So I, I, I figured it's, you're getting along well enough. Maybe after this hearing, that'd be a good time. Or if I get a lease, or a stable living environment that I believe is stable through testimony, we can do it that way. Any questions, Mr. Frost? No, Your Honor, thank you. Any questions, Ms. Frost? No. Can I get the name, date of birth, and spelling of the daughter's name? Mabel, M-A-B-E-L, Elizabeth, E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H, Frost, F-R-O-S-T, and that is May 26, 2021. Okay. Now we will get a hearing set, but at this time, parenting time is as the parties agree. Folks, both of you, please, for the child, baby's sake especially, but also the five-year-old, get along the best you can. If something where, ma'am, you feel like you need to move out due to your allegations, or sure, you need to move out due to your 
issues, file something with the court immediately and we'll figure something out. I'm not going to look at it as someone abandoned the children. We're just not taking the children out of this home right now. Um, we'll get an order then, but right now you're both living together and that's probably going to be that way for a month or so, it sounds like. So we'll, uh, we'll get a date. So please hold on. We'll go off the record. My staff will give you a few options.